Hello, welcome to NetApp KB TV. Today we are going to learn on how to configure email notifications on the NetApp Storage Grid. First, log in to the Storage Grid GUI. Click on Configuration. Under the Monitoring tab, click on Email Setup. Under the Email Server section, enter the IP address or the host name of the mail server. Enter the appropriate port number which is needed to access the SMTP mail server. Set the authentication tab to on if you're using secure mail. The default setting is off. Supply authentication credentials if you have set the authentication to be on. Enter a valid email address that the SMTP server will recognize as the sending email address. Optionally send a test email to confirm that your SMTP mail server settings are correct. We will do this test at the end of this video. Click on apply changes. We'll have to wait until the apply button turns blue to know that the changes have taken effect. Then we move on to the second step which is configuring email templates. This step is entirely optional. This is required if you need the notification email to be of a specific format. Click on templates. Click on insert. Enter a unique name to identify the template. Enter a subject prefix that will appear at the beginning of the email's subject line. Enter a header text that appears at the beginning of the email message body. Enter a footer text that appears at the end of the email message. Click on Apply Changes. As you know, we'll have to wait until the Apply Changes button turns blue to be sure that the changes have taken effect. Now that you've configured the email templates, we move to step 3, which is creating mailing lists. From the email menu, click on Lists. Click on the edit option to insert. Enter a group name and this name has to be unique to identify the mailing list. Under the recipient section, enter a valid email address or a comma delineated list of email addresses. Optionally select an email template which was created in the previous step. Click on Apply Changes. Now we wait for the changes to take effect. Now that we have created the email list, we must perform one final step which is configuring the global email notification. Click on Configuration. Under the Monitoring tab, click on notifications click on edit to insert under the email list choose the mailing list to which you want the emails to be sent to in this section we just have the one which we created and I'm gonna go with that select one or more alarm severity levels that you wish to receive notifications on Except notice and minor, I wish to receive for all other severity levels. And one more important thing to know, say when you are performing a maintenance activity and you would want the emails notifications to be not received, you can use this suppress option to block all the emails from being sent out.
and once the maintenance activity is complete you can come back here and uncheck this option now we click on apply changes now that we have successfully configured it's time to do this test so I go back to the email server settings I enter the email address to which I wish to receive a test email apply changes there you go I have successfully received a test email from the storage grid thank you for choosing NetApp have a great day